So due to numerous requests, I decided to make this video. And I'm just kidding, no one recommended me this video. I just had iPhone 5S laying around, so I figured I would make the video. But today I'm pretty much going to be talking about whether or not the iPhone 5S is still worth it. Obviously if you saw the title, you saw, already saw that. So I'm not even going to take up any more time. The power button is on the top. The volume buttons are on the left. The home button is on the front with the fingerprint sensor. The charging port and headphone jack are both on the bottom. And this phone is pretty similar to the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5 video that I made. So if you haven't seen that yet, I will leave an annotation somewhere. And I will also leave it in the <laughs> a link in the description to view that as well. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. And then come back to this video and you'll see the similarity. <laughs> but starting off, the build quality is absolutely beautiful. It's aged very well. It has very few scratches on it, even though I had it in a case and stuff, I do tend to throw my devices around. The screen barely has any scratches on it. I haven't even had a screen protector on it. It's still beautiful. And the size of the phone is very sweet because I'm coming from iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 5S is honestly literally like the perfect size. I just prefer a lot more content on the screen. That's me personally. I like having a bigger keyboard, but the iPhone 5S is perfect if you don't mind having a smaller screen. And speaking about the screen, it's 4 inches, I believe it's a less than 720p, but that really doesn't matter because the screen is kind of on the smaller end. So even if you have a small resolution, a small amount of pixels, they're pretty much compacted in a smaller space, so the screen really doesn't look that bad. Performance also is pretty good, just like the iPhone 5. I have heard stories of apps shutting down in the back when too many are open, but it's still pretty fast for me. I haven't updated it to 9.3.2 yet, so I can't really talk on behalf of that update. But if you see my iPhone 5 video, you'll understand why I don't really like updating my iPhone to the latest one. Touch ID is awesome on this phone as well. It's pretty fast. It's actually fa just as fast, if not faster, than my iPhone 6 Plus. Maybe that is because I haven't updated it to the newest one and my iPhone 6 Plus is running the newest one. I'm not really sure. But I will say that if you get the black version, which I highly recommend because I have a white iPhone 6 Plus and I had a white iPhone 5 and I would way prefer the black one just because it looks way more cleaner and professional. But the but the home button does get a bit smudgy that you can kind of see the fingerprints. On the white iPhone, it doesn't really come out that bad. But on the black iPhones, it's really noticeable. Gaming is also fluid on this device. It's fast. It does heat up after a while, but it's basically just like any other phone you would buy that came out in 2013. But don't pick it up for the gaming because it can handle casual games and some heavy games, but it'll just like get choppy and stuff. So any phone that you get that is a couple years old will not be able to compete with newer phones that came out. Battery life is also decent. For some reason, I got better battery life on my iPhone 5 than I got on the 5S. But that was probably due to the fact that we didn't really take care of the iPhone 5S that well like we did on the iPhone 5. And the iPhone 5S had really weird issues like whenever you take a picture, even if it was on silent, it would still make that camera shutter sound. So that would, became really annoying, but that doesn't happen to all the iPhone 5Ss. The camera is 8 megapixels. It takes some beautiful shots. Here I am slouching down trying to take some photos. But yeah, the camera takes awesome shots. It also has slow-mo. I don't really know what everyone uses slow-mo for. Like I have slow-mo on the 6 Plus and I don't even use it. This is the only time I use slow-mo and it's, it's honestly pretty cool. I just don't know what I would use it for. And yeah guys, that's really about it. It's honestly a beautiful phone. It still has a bit of life left into it. I can't really put a year on it, but the fact that the iPhone SE came out just shows that there's a huge demand for smaller iPhones. I said this on the iPhone 5 video. Now the iPhone SE, I haven't got my hands on yet, so I don't really know which one I would prefer over the other. But at this point, I would just say go for the iPhone 5S, just simply because of the price. You can probably pick one up less than like, maybe around $120, maybe, but, but way less than $150. Like the one we had, that one was 32 gigs, and I believe we spent $150 on that. I can't, I can't really remember, but it was probably something around that price. And now the part you've all been waiting for, I went into my backyard to film more of this video, and all of a sudden, I saw a baby freaking raccoon. Literally the cutest thing in the world. I didn't want to get too close to it. To, I didn't want to scare it off or anything, but I really wanted to pet it. It eventually walked off, but before he left, he told me to make sure you all are subscribed because small YouTube channels like myself depend on subscription more than you think. Oh, and we just hit 400 subscribers finally. I seriously am so grateful about it, and maybe once I hit 1,000, I'll do a face reveal or something stupid like that. Like this video as well so I have a better idea to make more videos like this. I haven't made a video like this in a while. They just take a little bit more time to consume. But if you guys like this type of video, I will definitely go out of my way to make these. Comment your guys' questions or concerns or just comment anything in general. I love reading your guys' comments and replying to them. I love all of you guys and I hope I will be able to see you guys in the next video.
And I do apologize. Sorry, I sound really tired. It's 12.05 a.m. and I'm in my basement and my family's upstairs sleeping, so I'm really not trying to be that loud. So if you stuck around to this part of the video, I really do appreciate it. You guys don't understand what you guys mean to me. I love every single one of you guys, like I just said. And please come to the next video and check out my last videos as well. I'm pretty sure you'll like them. They're just kind of like this, but way more energized and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to put a beat on this or not. Uh, if I make one, I'll put one on. But <laughs> I love you guys and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Yada, yada, yada. Bye-bye.